Here's our second time video. This one's on an oxygen sensor that I captured. And right now the DSO is in replay mode. So it's on a screen capture right now. We're on frame number one. And this is in where I drove an oxygen sensor lean and I drove it rich. And I did this in order to measure the time it took for it to switch from lean to rich and rich to lean. So what I'm going to do is press the cursor button and we're on time and we're measuring time here. We're not measuring frequency because the one over T button is not pressed. And let's measure the switch from lean to rich first. So this cursor's highlighted here so I'm going to move it over to about the point where I see the voltage here on the A pass a half a volt. So there's about as close as I can get it. It's 660 millivolts which is 0 0.660 volts. So now I'm going to move the other cursor. So I'm going to press the move button and now we're highlighting on the other cursor and I'm going to move that to about the same place to where the switch was. As we know anything that switches past a half a volt or 0.45 volts is the switch time. So I'm going to move this over until I see the same switch time here. There's 408 millivolts. So let's go back one click. So about 432 millivolts and I can't get it any closer than that so I'll move the cursors back and I've got the cursors exactly on the switch time if we look at the switch time we have 40 milliseconds which far surpasses the 100 millisecond time that you need an oxygen sensor to switch in order for it to maintain fuel control. So our switch from lean to rich is 40 milliseconds and if you look at it it might have even exceeded that much. So now let's measure the switch that goes from rich to lean. So I'm going to move the cursors again. I'm highlighted on the left hand cursor now. I'm going to move this over until it gets to the point where I see that it came down below a half a volt and it's right there at 328 millivolts which looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and move the other cursor over and see if we can measure this switch time went a little farther and you just have to keep playing with it until you get it just perfect so move the cursor again and it looks pretty close and so now the switch from rich to lean is actually at 40 milliseconds which far surpasses any test that we can give it. I would say that this oxygen sensor is switching correctly and that it's a pretty good sensor. And this is a car that's uh, seven years old and has I don't know 70,000 miles on the O2 sensors. So not every car that fails smog has an O2 sensor problem. There's probably other things that can happen.